Welcome back to Rainbow Plant Life. If you're new here, my name is Nisha and thank you so much for joining me. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a vegan meal prep for the week and showing you what to buy at the grocery store. First, we'll do a grocery haul and I'll show you everything I bought for the week. And then we'll do a super simple vegan meal prep. Some of these recipes don't require any cooking, so it's great for beginners as well. And I'll leave my grocery shopping list in the description below so you can see exactly what I bought. These recipes will make enough food for five days for one person. Five breakfasts, lunches, and dinners, as well as five snacks and desserts. These portions are right for me, but if you have different calorie needs or a different diet, be sure to adjust accordingly. Here's everything we got for our vegan meal prep for the week from the grocery store. First item on our list are bananas, and I have five bananas here for the week. Next on our list we have some organic strawberries, and I tend to buy strawberries that are organic or locally grown from the farmer's market, and the reason for that is because strawberries tend to be one of the dirtiest fruits and vegetables. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, the Environmental Working Group has a list that they put out every year on pesticide usage in fruits and vegetables. Next we have five sweet potatoes. Next we have this huge container of baby spinach. Buying prepackaged greens is going to be more expensive than buying whole greens, but I find that I'm more likely to actually eat them if they're readily available. Next we have one package of cilantro and we'll be using this in lunch and dinner. Then we have this bag of adorable baby avocados from Trader Joe's. There's about six in here and we'll use those for lunch and dinner as well. And the last produce item we have is bagged frozen organic corn. And you can also use canned corn. Um, I'm using organic because about 80 to 90% of the corn supply in the US is genetically modified. And my diet's not perfect, but when I'm shopping for myself, I try to buy organic when it makes sense and when it's affordable for me. I also got a lot of dried goods from the bulk section at Whole Foods. First, we have some rolled oats. This is about two to two and a half cups. We'll be using it for breakfast. Then we have some raw almonds and raw pumpkin seeds. We've got about three fourths of a cup of each. Next, we have some dried raisins and dried cranberries. They're about a third a cup each. Next, we have some deglet dates. There's about 20 to 30 of these in here and we'll be having those with dessert. Finally, we have some rainbow quinoa. This is about two to two and a half cups. And I wanted to buy just plain white quinoa because it's cheaper, but my grocery store didn't have it, so that's why we have rainbow quinoa. Then we have three cans of organic black beans. And of course, if you buy dried beans, you'll save some money, but I want to keep this meal prep really easy. We also have one jar of salsa, which we'll be using with lunch and dinner, one jar of organic peanut butter, one package of organic brown rice cakes, and finally, one huge jug of almond milk. Before I get to the cost of these ingredients for my weekly meal prep, I want to preface this by saying that I live in New York City, which has probably the highest cost of living in the United States. So if these groceries seem a bit expensive to you, it's probably because you have more affordable groceries in your area, which is great. I also bought a good number of organic products as you saw. If you don't buy organic food or it's not in your budget, you'll save even more money. About half of the food you just saw was from Whole Foods and the other half was from Trader Joe's. And if we look at these receipts, um, I spent $22.99 at Trader Joe's and $27.29 at Whole Foods. And that leads us to a grand total of $50.28. I was a little bummed when I realized I didn't get under $50, but then I noticed on my Trader Joe's receipt, I bought a lemon, which I didn't need for this meal prep. And so that brings us to a total of $49.79, so right under $50. That $50 will feed me for five days with five meals a day, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, and dessert. There are a few ingredients that I didn't buy at the grocery store that I'll be using today in my recipes. And they're totally optional, so you don't actually need to buy them. But the reason I'm using them is because they add some more nutrition. First, we have quinoa flakes, and I'll be using these in our breakfast muesli. Then we have coconut flakes, which also be in the muesli. 
And finally, we have some chia seeds, which will be in the muesli as well as in our snack. The last optional ingredient we have is a vegan ricotta cheese, and I'm using this in lunch and dinner. It's totally optional. The meals will still be delicious and satiating without it. I'm using it because Kite Hill Foods, the brand, was nice enough to send it to me through Instagram, and that's why it's not on my grocery haul list today. Now that we've talked about all the groceries, let's start our meal prep for the week. The first dish in our easy vegan meal prep will be a breakfast muesli, and we'll serve it with almond milk and berries. We'll start with two to two and a half cups of rolled oats, then we'll add in some chopped almonds, about a half cup to three fourths of a cup. We'll use the same amount of pumpkin seeds, but you can use any seeds you like. Then we'll add in a half cup of quinoa flakes as well as coconut flakes, and those are optional ingredients. Next up, we have one third cup each of dried cranberries and raisins. And finally, we'll add four tablespoons of chia seeds. With regard to the quinoa flakes and coconut flakes, if you don't want to buy them, you can omit them or replace them with more rolled oats. We'll mix all the ingredients together until they're well combined. I'm serving my muesli with some almond milk and strawberries, but you can also use a plant-based yogurt instead and any fruit or toppings you prefer. If you want to take your muesli to go, whether it's for school or work, just store it in a glass jar, then add your milk or yogurt so it can soak for a few hours and add your berries on top. For lunch, we're going to do a quinoa burrito bowl. I love this dish because the only cooking required is the quinoa. We'll start with two cups of dried quinoa. That'll give us six cups of cooked quinoa, or a little over a cup of cooked quinoa per day. Then we'll drain our three cans of black beans and rinse them thoroughly. Next up, we'll finally chop up some cilantro. I'm using a few handfuls. And we'll also chop up some of that baby spinach. Use as many greens as you can eat. We'll add the rinsed and drained black beans to a large bowl along with the defrosted bag of organic corn and the chopped cilantro. You'll want to generously salt and pepper your dish so that everything is flavorful and then mix it all together. To take this burrito bowl to work or school, you'll add about a cup of cooked quinoa, enough beans and corn to help you stay full, a bit of salsa for heat and flavor, one baby avocado or half of a regular sized avocado. And finally, top it with that optional vegan ricotta cheese if you so please. For our easy vegan meal prep, we'll have loaded sweet potatoes for dinner. We'll start with five sweet potatoes, one for each day and we'll prick them with a knife or a fork all over and put them on a foil-lined baking sheet. We'll bake them at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 45 minutes until they're nice and soft and gooey. When you're ready to eat the sweet potatoes, you wanna slice them in half and mush the flesh with the fork so that you have some space to add your toppings. We'll add that same black bean and corn mixture we used for lunch, and you should use as much as you need to stay full. We'll pour on some salsa, then we'll add our avocado. Again, I'm using a baby avocado, but you can use as much as you like. Finally, we'll add that optional vegan ricotta cheese, and we'll serve it over a bed of baby spinach to make sure we eat enough greens, and you can take it on the go or eat it when you get home from work or school. For our weekly snack, we'll have peanut butter and banana rice cakes. You're probably not going to use the entire jar of peanut butter this week, but you certainly can. We'll just slather on some peanut butter over those brown rice cakes, add some sliced bananas and chia seeds, and then we're good to go. If you want to take your snack to go, bring your rice cakes, peanut butter, bananas, and chia seeds separately, and you can make your snack in just a few minutes while you're at school or work. I like to end my day on a sweet note, so we'll be having stuffed dates for dessert. We'll slice those dates in half, don't slice them all the way through, just enough to create a vessel. 
and then stuff them with peanut butter as well as sea salt and cinnamon. That's it. This is the perfect dessert when you want something quick and healthy. I hope you enjoyed this video for my easy vegan meal prep and vegan grocery haul. If you did, I would love it if you left a comment below and hit that thumbs up button. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks.